Hello everyone. You guys are linked to me on an Academy online platform. Rice intensification is very popular uh, technology that even people are using nowadays and enhance the productivity of rice. As you know, rice is very important crop throughout the world, not only in India, guys, and massive of the areas in the world, especially in Asia, West Africa, and all, where the rice uh, cultivation is the main important product in the agriculture sector. So this rice identification process even somehow in India also opted and yet the productivity even increased massive times. So this topic is connecting with the agriculture and this topic is very very important for your examination in every examination. This is my lesson number 77. I, I hope you people have completed all the entire lesson. So you guys are listening to me Dr. Ravi with an academy platform. As 18 years I spent my time with all of you in the UPSC teaching. My two books are published on the McGraw Hill. The one is a science and tech environment. I am a director of Purvanchalize where I am providing the face to face classes at Guru. My telegram channel you can see on the screen where you can find out all the entire PDF. My academy profile you can see on the screen. Here uh, my classes are available on the plus and special both. Special classes are free for all of you so kindly follow me here. It's a one stop solution to all of you. My code is Ravi UPSC during joining any courses. If you use it you will get extra discount. India's best educator for UPSC, CSE they all are available on academy. So it's a great opportunity to connect all of them. An academy subscription on the plus iconic. Whenever you people use the YT UPSC, you will get as much a discount on the plus iconic courses, combo courses, and even also in your optional subscriptions. UPSC says you know 2.0, 2.0 is updated now, where you can find out all the comprehensive coverage. UPSC means PYUs, mind maps, and a lot and a lot current affairs updates. Everything is here. So this is one stop content for all of you on an academy. So finally, we are here into the rice intensification. This topic is connecting with the agriculture so what is here the rice intensification process actually you know in the case of rice intensification process there is a map before before the rice intensification i'll tell you guys that a lot of the procedure people are using in the case of rice cultivations but still the rice cultivation you know uh, not much more high nowadays now the yield is going to stagnate okay and still not the more and more is going to increase but the demand of the rice and all is increasing day to day life so that is the reason rice intensification is one of the option those enhance the productivity further on 20 to 25 percent so how this 20 25 percent of the rice uh, productivity enhanced because of rice intensification i'll explain with you guys so system of rice intensification is a farming methodology and due to the reason guys increasing the yield of rice produced and the best part is here in the case of rice intensification i hope you guys know very well rice plant during the cultivation even in the beginning to till complete growth it has a need of massive you know water logging conditions but in the case of rice intensification process here the water is not much more required so low water content the another one is a labor intensive method okay it is a labor intensive method and here you know the what we are doing the young you, here people are using the young seedlings uh, uh, plants and we are putting into the proper space proper space is around 10 inches 10 inches each and every plant just like in this way 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 one plant is here one plant is here one plant is here one plant is here one plant and distance around 10 inches in everywhere guys and here in this case is what will come generally you know when you people are growing the rice crop what is there the each and every plants are next to next next to next next to next next to next the each and every plants cannot find the proper nutrition each and every plants could not get a proper growth and that is the reason not even the proper productivities are there here in this case of right intensification people are providing the proper proper space and that is the reason guys each and every plant of the rice crop can get the proper nutrient, nutrients and can grow properly and that's why the size of the grain is well and good and in that we have a good productivity here. Okay so this is the here guys in this case is the properly singly spaced seedling younger you know in the case of rice integration what we are doing. Generally rice cultivation what we are doing. We are taking some of the small nurture plants younger seedlings and telling nurture plant means younger seedlings. Okay, and just to close up the areas where we are doing the rice intensifications. So where the rice intensification, suppose rice intensification process we are adopting at this places. So where, uh, firstly, you know, in the case of rice growth, what we are doing, younger seedling producer, produce, produce are important. The younger seedling produce means up to some heights of the plant is required. So the distance should be not more. Around, around the distance should be around up to that distance with the 30 minutes, within the 30 minutes around the crop areas and the and where we are producing the uh, young seedling materials of the rice crop that should be nearby and that is the reason the plant uh, neither you know the, what happened when the plant you will put here to here so in that case the plant, plant can die also 
okay so that is the reason the plants uh, i reason one more thing guys in this case is what about the you know the moistures are towards the root zone areas root zone areas it should not dry and that is the reason up to 30 30 minutes distance is good where you people are going to do the nurture the growth up to certain heights and then you are putting the plants into the into the field areas so nurturing plant areas from seedling to nursery stage and then from here to the plant proper growth of the plant in the field areas the distance should be not more than 30 minutes i hope you can understand so many of the things are uh, even uh, integrated under the rice intensification process so this is the area where you can find out the massive productivity of rice and one thing more again i'm telling you guys the rice we are going to do in the proper arrangement in the proper i told you the guys was like a one inch one inch see at this plant one inch one inch one inch ten inch ten inch, sorry ten inch ten inch ten inch everywhere guys so this is the reason rice is getting the proper time to do cultivation setup. Okay, in this case, uh, we are we are we are growing a single seeds, single seeds after two three intensive puddlings, and increases the root growth here. This technology was uh, this type of procedure was adopted in the French as a father, Henry D. Laulini in the Madagascar. Later on, the many countries has adopted, and India is also one of them. So, rice intensification process. What we are doing as a central principle of Center principle of rice intensification process, you can see here, guys, here the shoid uh, uh, should be kept moist, the one part. And the another one, guys, uh, the land should be proper in one level. The land should be proper in one level. Why? Why the land? It's like this is the land, guys. So somewhere have a up and somewhere down. In that case, somewhere have the water logging, somewhere have a less water availability. No. So land should be proper, proper leveled, pro proper level. The land should be proper level. In that way, the water and everything will be properly there, guys. Okay, and another was another one here. The more and more water logging condition is not required. That's why here in that cases we will we will minimize the anaerobic condition. Minimize the anaerobic condition is here aerobic condition is required. Why aerobic aerobic condition is required? The reason is very simple. Roots also take oxygen, and in the presence of oxygen, root do the uh, uh, root 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 generate the energy. And this is the reason here anaerobic condition it should be minimized. And here and in this cases the root growth is more and more. We are trying to support it. When the more and more root growth happens, in that case, what about the productivity? They will be good guys. Okay, here, here, uh, diversity of aerobic soil microorganisms are required. That's why I'm telling you here, minimizing the anaerobic condition. And that is the reason much more water law condition is not required. And this is the reason around 20 to 25 percent of water will be reduced as like to the normal cultivation of rice. Rice plants should be planted singly and widely spread as around 10 inches, I told you guys. And here the root permit the growth and proper canopies. Reason proper gap is there. The root will properly go in that areas. Root will take the proper nutrition and the, and the rice have a proper canopies and all. They will do the photosynthesis properly. And these all will affect what? Even the more and more productivity of the plant. Okay, those rice seedlings. Seedling means from in the beginning stages, guys. Those people are, should be transplanted when the young, less than 15 days old, with just two leaves, guys. So just in the nursery stage, and from the nursery to uh, nearby plants, plant areas, I'm telling you. And in this case, you must be know about the soil aerations. So these are the central principle of rice intensification. Those you, you should know guys. What about the significance? As significance is, I told you guys, 50 to 20 percent of ground water. We are going to save. Increases the rice productivity. Rice productivity is more. As I told you guys, uh, it was uh, even stagnant. It is happening in India. Some of the productivity start to decrease. And here in that cases, have a productivity increases also. It gives equal and more produce than the conventional rice cultivations. Uh, require the less water, less seeds, less chemicals is required. Reducing the investment on on external inputs. Rice intensification is suitable for all types of soils. Even water is added to field when the surface soil develops hairline cracks. That is very, very important. Right? Just like in the beginning, if hairline crack on the soil is going to start, so you just put the water and properly, properly solve these issues. Okay, and the proper intermittent irrigation. This is the reason intermittent irrigations are very important. Certain in regular, set the regular interval. Neither the crack can become there, guys. And this is the reason after intermittent irrigation, the soil moisture is maintained there, proper saturation is there. And I hope you guys know very well, the water irrigation is important. But here the massive water is not required. There are some limitations or problems in the case of rice intensification. Labor intensive guys, many times, uh, uh, farmers must have to involve into the field. Higher labor cost in the beginning because, uh, you know, the proper uh, nurseries, nurturing, you know, a lot of things are required. Necessary skill is required in that cases. And yeah, in that also possible, guys, the checks, if you will not check properly, that is the 
and wanted plants can also grow in the surroundings. So these are the proper limitations in this case. Those you can see here, guys. The by Telegraph channel, very clearly. Suggest to all of you guys regarding all the entire PDFs. Here, people can follow me. Not only PDF, even my video links. I also share here. My academy profile is on academy.com. Oblique at data Ravi P A grade two zero one zero. Here you can find out my plus classes and a part of special classes. My code is Ravi UPC during joining any course. If you use it, you will get extra ten percent discount. And academy is giving you zero percent MI based loan facility. So join it, guys. If anybody have a financial grants, that's also a benefit. Why an academy is the best price? Because widest choices of educators, flexibility, change courses, unlimited views of lectures, uh, live mentorships. This type of benefits through an academy you can find out. One seventy eight plus toppers already cracked UPSC with the help of an academy in twenty twenty one. UPSC TSC Super Combat twenty twenty three for twenty twenty three prelims examination is ready now on seventh August eleven. AM, don't forget to join it, guys. Here you will get the meaning of the scholarship. Kindly use the code Ravi UPC to join this. Road to LBS NNA, that is a free scholarship test for UPC CSE is on 6th August. Don't forget it, guys. Kindly enroll now. 11 AM. My courses of science and tech environment are running now. And now my new courses of agriculture is also coming soon. So if you want to connect with me, you kindly connect with me on my plus courses and use the code Ravi UPC. So kindly subscribe to the channel, like and share this video, and please. Uh, use this bell icon for the next coming future videos updations and for PDF I suggest to all of you you go and take this from Telegram. So thank you everyone I hope you will enjoy this lesson and meet you soon in the next class with some new other topic that will be relevant for your coming examinations So thank you all the best. God bless you. Jai.